Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at all things battery health. So, the car that we're looking at is our Tesla Model Y Performance. It is a 2023 model. We've traveled 22,560 kilometers on the odometer. Um, and yeah, from factory, I think it was about 79 or 80 kilowatt hour battery. Now, I do have the Tessie app, which does have battery health diagnostics. So I'll put a screenshot to the side of me in terms of um, what percentage it's currently at. And then we want to compare that to what the battery health percentage is going to be uh, for the car itself. So let me flip the camera around. So basically in the service menu in the car, you've got a battery health section over here. So once we touch that battery health section, you'll see a quick indicator to say your battery is healthy. And then a key statement at the top, your battery's energy retention is within expected range based on its age and mileage. So all we need to do is hit battery health test. And you'll see over here that it says, before you begin, couple of key things so vehicle is in park battery level is at 20% or less which we are currently at 20% you can see on the top right uh, vehicle is connected to internet no software update scheduled no battery or thermal alerts active vehicle is connected to an AC charging station and can provide at least five kilowatts of power there's more information over here the summary is it's saying it takes up to 18 hours to complete uh, what else? It says Tesla recommends using AC wall connector uh, or mobile connector. Third party and pay per use AC may cause test failure or unexpected results. The vehicle will discharge 0 to 10% before recharging to 100%. And do not leave occupants unattended. So avoid interacting with vehicle or Tesla app during the test. You can cancel tests at any time. So all we need to do is plug it in and then uh, see what else we see on the screen. So let's go plug it in. All right, so here it is. Also, by the way, make sure you turn off all of your charging schedules for your car because it does need to go for up to 24 hours. So if you've got the charging schedules on, your charging might actually turn off. All right, so we are back in the car. So you can see it's already starting to charge. So let's go back down to, uh, where was it, the service. Let's go to battery health, battery test again. So we've got everything here that's ticked. So just remember, as I said earlier on, make sure you turn off all your charging schedules so that it does have access to power the entire time. And let's go, start test. Okay, so discharging battery at the moment. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this run and I will report back when it's complete. So lucky you, you don't have to wait 18 hours. So I won't be driving this car for 18 hours. So we'll see you soon. Also, just want you to listen. These are the weird sounds that the car makes. So that's basically it for now. So we'll see you in 18 hours. All right, we're back. So uh, it didn't take 18 hours is the short version. It ended up taking probably about 10 hours total. Um, so what happened? So last night at about uh, nearly 11 p.m. I got a notification to say that uh, battery health test is complete. You can open your app to check or you can check the car. And so I'll put up on screen um, exactly what I have seen on the app. But basically it just says the percentage and when it was last tested along with some further information and the same thing actually shows on screen over here so let me show you that okay so what you see on the screen is the same thing essentially as the app battery health 95 percent battery is healthy last tested date which is 16th of august just bear in mind that's a us uh, display so it's not 8th of 16th it's uh, 16th of the 8th and batteries energy retention is within expected range based on its age and mileage so 95 percent state of charge is what we are talking about so what do you all think 95 percent is the current battery um, health so that's what two and a half years roughly so it's dropped five percent um, you've got eight years battery warranty so you know i, I think it's going to be well within the acceptable range and the acceptable range for a tesla is uh, 30 percent degradation within the battery warranty period uh, means that you are entitled to a replacement under warranty so at this point in time uh, i'm somewhat okay with it now in terms of comparison to the tessie app um, it is a lot more specific now 
Mine is showing here 93.43%. So I'll put a screenshot up on screen next to me so you can see it as well. And degradation is at 6.57. Now, all of the Tessie data is actually also recorded from the Tesla vehicle directly. So I'm not too sure where the variance is. Um, but let's just say for argument's sake, we'll meet halfway and say there's about 6% degradation over the two and a half years. And remember, this is a NMC battery. So I usually charge it only up until 80%. I usually don't charge it up to 100. Uh, 100 only if I do really long distance trips. But realistically, since we have the Model X, we don't really take this car long distance. It's really just city driving pretty much every day of the year. Um, so yeah, that's about it. So to summarize it all, it's about five to six percent battery degradation over the two and a half years that we've owned the car. I personally, as an NMC um, battery owner, I've always charged it to 80%, as I've said, and I don't think there's any need to have anything more than that because realistically, um, it's more than enough. Like, you know, if I look at it at 100% now, it says 446 kilometers. When I bought it, um, it was about 478 from memory. So about uh, 30 kilometers less potentially. And that's just on what it shows over there. So it's not real well range at 30 kilometers. Um, and so at 80%, I could easily still do 300 odd kilometers or even 250 to 300 because I'm not gonna drive it down to zero. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. The purpose of this video, of course, was just to keep you informed in terms of how a Tesla NMC battery has performed over the past two and a half years. Um, if this video was insightful and helpful, then make sure you give the video a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you soon.